Okay, y'all, so I'm studying on how Saul got a claim king. And y'all, this man literally went and hid. He was hiding him on the back. And then, I don't know if this is shade or what, but <laughs> look what Samuel says. This is the man the Lord has chosen as your king, and no one in all, all Israel is like him. Up here, he had just told him, like, oh, okay, you rejected God by not wanting, you know, like, my counsel or his kids, right? Because apparently they were, they were, like, misbehaving or something. But I think God was eventually going to deal with them. But the people of Israel, they were like, no, we want a king. Before this, they'd already had, like, a, like an encounter. And y'all, finally, when he got chosen, this man went in here. They had to bring him out. Ain't that something? What I get from all of this is the fact that he probably ran and hid because he was scared and it was like way too new and I can understand that. But on the other end, for the people of Israel that were like insistent on wanting their own king and they didn't want God to rule over them, it says a lot because um, so many times we do that. We think that what God gives us is not good enough. So he's like, all right, then I'm going to give you all exactly what you are asking for. And this is exactly what happened here. And then we later on see that, you know, David eventually takes his place. So they got the king that, that they deserved, you know.